Okay, so here you have it. This is why I cancelled my Tesla Model Y order. I'm waiting for the dream. Here's the dream. Is it real? It could be. Maybe it is. It's exciting, whatever the case may be. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. I have bought two EVs from two different Chinese companies within the last few months. One of them is road registrable. The other one is not. Anyway, if you want to find out about those stories, you can check out the videos I've made on those. I'll put some links in the description below. Now, what's going on? Rumors are Tesla is currently making, well, a Model Y with an 800 kilometer range. There's a rumor that there's Tesla Model Ys with 4680 battery cells out on the roads in the US with an ultra long driving range of 800 kilometers. Apparently, there's huge debate going on whether this is true or not. Could it be true? Yes, of course. Absolutely. It's very possible. If it's true, it's likely to be a fact-finding mission on range rather than an immediate new offering to customers. I don't think these cars will come out for a while. Will they come out? In my view, definitely though. Taken to Twitter on Tuesday morning, Dr. Jack, who says he is on Twitter mainly for the Tesla at Elon Musk, SpaceX, Tesla community, to stop misinformation and help share knowledge, all for the betterment of humanity, posted about some Model Ys he'd been told about by a little birdie. Someone working at Tesla, apparently, worded him up. According to Dr. Jack, he was told the cars in question have had their range unlocked via software. He said, turns out the temper turns out the rumors about the temporary software locking of the true potential of the 4680 Model Ys is true. A little birdie told me that there are 4680 Model Ys currently being driven by Tesla employees with a 500 mile, 800 kilometer range. Insane. Could this be true? Well, I think it could be. The tweet itself is impossible to verify. We don't know if this is legit. We can only speculate. However, this has caught the attention of the Twitterverse with 1,332 likes and a winky face emoji from Teslascope, the account that represents a third party Tesla driving platform. Interesting. Some responders to the tweet were understandably, understandably skeptical about the news, but accepted that maybe Tesla has just packed as many 4680 cells into Model Ys for testing purposes in order to enable this range. I don't think that's actually as necessary as you think. I think they could easily fit an 80 kilowatt hour pack in there because they can in other in other model Ys, right? Meaning, if the if the weight of vehicle has been reduced by say 300 to 400 kilos thanks to the structural battery pack, which apparently it has been, and by the fact that these cells, right, are potentially lighter as a whole in terms of the entire structure of the car and everything else, that would mean this range could theoretically actually be possible by simply having an 80 kilowatt hour pack. So Tesla doesn't need to go and stuff in some enormous pack. That's all they need in theory to get this kind of range. Now, I doubt the all-wheel drive standard range has extra kilowatt hours. There might be factory test units with that range though, said one, tw when one tweeter. Now, I agree. I don't think the current model you can buy for 62,000 US dollars is the model that's going to give you 800 kilometers of range if it's factory unlocked. That seems to me to be completely insane and illogical, but possible. Another said that if Tesla's calculations shared on battery day in 2020, that increased range by 54% have been borne out. The Model Y's long range's current EPA range of 318 miles could be boosted to 490 miles. Now that is the theoretical range based on that number. And I reported on that in another video a couple of months ago. Will that happen? Who knows? I mean, anything's possible. Others said they believe that if Tesla were to sell a Model Y with ultra long range, it would be a waste of resources, which let's face it is in line with comments made by Tesla's boss, Elon Musk, at a recent earnings call and on social media. Cell constraints are holding back Tesla's production of the Cybertruck. So clearly, Tesla don't have enough batteries. They don't have enough 4680 cells to make enough vehicles. For another, says the driven.io, which uh, is basically the source of a lot of this information I'm getting here, Musk said he doesn't think more than 400 miles of range is necessary. Hmm. However, you think about this, right? Clarifying with Electric in 2021 why Tesla had cancelled Applied Plus Model S, he said, 
What we are seeing is that once you have a range of about 400 miles, more range doesn't really matter. There are essentially zero trips above 400 miles where the driver doesn't need to stop for restroom, food, coffee, etc. Anyway, now, problem here. Problem, problem, problem with that idea. And there's a big problem. Based on this concept, the Tesla Model S Plaid doesn't need to exist at all. It's a completely unnecessary car. Who on earth needs a car that can do the quarter mile in 9.2 seconds? It doesn't need to exist. I think this could be a reaction from Tesla to Tesla stock price crashing. I mean, it's halved. It's, it's nearly halved from a 12, it was, where was it at? 1200 US dollars, not all that long ago, gone down to what? 650, we're sitting at about 700. I mean, Tesla's stock price has wiped billions and billions of dollars from Tesla's available you know, cash, essentially, from their bottom line. That's not good for Elon himself. I mean, he's got he's a, he's got to pay for all these baby mamas now. He's got like what twenty seven kids. No jokes, jokes, jokes. Don't 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 unsubscribe, Elon fans. Not yet. You know I love the guy, but yeah, come on, he's got a lot of kids. He needs a that's a lot of child support going out right there. Now, what do I think? I do think Tesla will potentially release a Tesla Model Y with an eight hundred kilometer range. It's like the Tesla Model S Plaid, right? It's the super duper version. It's the marketing version. Elon is the, if and nothing else, in my view, his greatest skill is not his engineering talent. He definitely has engineering talent. It's not his ability to build companies. It's his ability to market and sell products and to make people believe in them. This is the kind of halo product, a Tesla Model Y with 800 kilometers of range, which would what? Do to the stock price. What would it do to it? Yeah send it shooting back up, wouldn't it? This is the kind of excitement that gets fans salivating. It gets people who would love Tesla going, whoa, 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 what's going on? This is exciting. Whoa, hey, hey, buy some more stuff, baby. Let's go. That's what could be happening. Could they do this with an 80 kilowatt hour pack? Absolutely. I think 800 kilometers of range is possible with that size pack using 4680 cells, a much lighter vehicle. Will this vehicle exist? I mean, it could just be a super expensive version. They could be selling this for 100K. Who knows? It's possible. It's very, very possible. Is it likely? I'm going to give it 40% chance. Now, what I want to know from you is, what do you think? What's your chance or likelihood of this car existing? Do you think it's possible? Do you think Tesla will make it? Will they make it this year? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, you know, have an awesome day. This video is coming to you live at what 2 a.m. here from Melbourne, Australia, because you know what? You guys need to know what's going on. Things are happening every day, and you know I've got to get, let you guys know on time. That's the whole idea. Thank you for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Remember, the world gets better every day of the week. Every day of the week, we're seeing new battery technology. Amazing stuff coming out. Structural batteries. Tesla's not the only one doing it. I mean, many companies now are doing structural batteries. Tesla led the way there, and the others copied, but who cares? The concept works. It's brilliant. Gigacast things. So many things coming out. Energy density increases. You know, ways that we get around these costs of nickel, right? Get rid of the nickel. Get rid of the cobalt. Just use LFP. Brilliant. Solution right there. Bang. Anyway, have a great day. And I'll see you again on the next video.